around this time last year, we got the new Panasonic Lumix S5 II, which I have got in my hands right here. But now Panasonic are releasing a new lens. It's the S 100 mm f 2.8 macro lens. But as you can see, for a 100 mm f 2.8 prime lens, it is pretty small. And I've got to say, it is very light as well. It sits very nicely on the front of a camera like the S5 II here. And as a macro lens, it's actually a little bit special in the range of lenses within this kind of ecosystem. And of course, just because it says macro in the title does not mean that it is only usable for macro shots. There's a lot that you could do with this. You've got a nice fast aperture, a nice small compact lens, and a lovely focal length to actually play around with. In terms of the macro capabilities, you've got a one-to-one -one magnification here. You've got a close focusing distance of 20.4 centimeters, which does let you get in nice and close to your subjects. But like I say, this doubles up really well for something like portraiture, you know, nice fast aperture, great focal length for portraiture. You can get some lovely headshots or pull back a little bit more and get some interesting shots as well. This is gonna work great for kind of you know, shots of hands. You don't have to get in all the way close for that proper macro shot. This is gonna work great for product stuff as well. Even stuff like landscape photography, but I mean, even stuff like street photography, I could see myself using this. And the reason for that is I like using a longer focal length for that kind of thing. And this is nice and small and compact, which means it's nice and discreet. But I think this is a great all rounder lens actually, not just focus on macro, but of course it fills that need as well. So much like a lot of different macro lenses, a very useful lens to have in your kit bag. Now, let's talk about image quality. That's probably the most important thing with any lens. And I'm happy to say these images look really, really nice. I'm not overly surprised. Panasonic make nice lenses and certainly their prime lenses produce really lovely images, but they're nice and sharp. We've got great resolution, great colors here and good looking smooth bokeh, which is important for a lens with this kind of focal length, because you are definitely gonna be dealing with out of focus areas. You've got three ASPH lenses inside the lens here, even though it is quite compact, and that really helps to give you that nice, good optical quality, which is lovely to see. Combine that with something like the S5 II, and you've got some great performance as well when it comes to things like autofocus. Whether I was shooting macro stuff, or whether I was shooting something else, the autofocus worked really well with the S5 II. Now, of course, the S5 II has great autofocus compared to some of the older cameras within that kind of Panasonic S range. And the new 100mm f2.8 has got a new dual phase linear motor. Put that all together and you do get really nice autofocus performance, something which never became a problem for me while I was shooting, which is exactly what you want when it comes to using really any lens. Now, I've mentioned a few times that the lens is small, it's compact, it's lightweight. I won't say it over and over and over again, or at least I'll try not to. But otherwise, the actual design of the lens is pretty straightforward. You've got two controls on here, both to do with focusing, so the AF, MF switch, and then of course you've got the focus distance switch as well, and then a nice big manual focus ring, which I've got to say, and this is important for a macro lens, is weighted really well. That's going to allow you to make some really, really small adjustments, micro adjustments, I guess you'd say, not macro, although of course for macro, we all get it good one. But it's important. It's an important aspect to have on a macro lens like this or a lens that you would be using for macro. Otherwise, there are some really cool things that Panasonic have thought about with this lens, which I think, I think it's just, it's just clever. It's just very, very clever. So for example, the writing on the front here is gray rather than white. Stuff like where it would list the filter size and the actual lens itself and the little details. It's gray on the front so that it won't reflect in whatever you're taking a photo of very close up because you might have the lens very close to the subject you don't want to have that writing reflected in whatever it is that you're photographing that's just a clever little touch to include on a lens like this and it really really shows thinking about how the lens is going to be used. Something else which is really neat, which Panasonic are doing with a bunch of their different prime lenses, is this is about the same size and same weight, roughly, as a lot of the other f1.8 prime lenses. So this, of course, is f2.8, but it's about the same size and weight as those other prime lenses in that f1.8 range, which means this is going to fit, first of all, fit really nicely in a bag, Right, the size of this makes it very easy to just have in your camera bag for all kinds of different uses. But specifically, if you want to use this on something like a gimbal or if it's part of a rig where the size of the lens or the weight of the lens is important and it needs to stay the same, this is just another lens now within that ecosystem 
that can pretty much slot in and slot out without any headache of, for example, having to rebalance a gimbal. That's super useful. And as a videographer and someone who, I'll be honest, avoids gimbals a lot because of issues like that, I love how forward thinking Panasonic have been about that because that really makes a huge difference. It means you could take out your S5 II, let's say, you've got your gimbal, you're shooting video, you wanna start on a nice wide prime lens, but you wanna do some close shots with something like a 100 mil, you wanna use some of the other prime lenses, a 50 mil. You don't have to keep constantly rebalancing that gimbal, you can just swap in and out. It makes it so much easier. I personally think this is a fantastic addition to the Panasonic native lens lineup. I think this is great, I think this fits in really well. First of all, 100 millimeter F2.8 is a really useful focal length no matter what. I think that's great for all kinds of different things. The lens works really well. I think the size and the weight of it is fantastic. It's exactly what you would want on a camera like this. And then of course the macro capabilities make it extra useful. There's a lot that you could do with this. I would absolutely see myself using a lens like this with this camera. I love a longer focal length anyway, so absolutely, this is a great one to check out. And I don't think this is coming in at too much of a ridiculous price, to be honest with you. There's quite a lot that you're getting out of this lens for the kind of price that you've been looking at. You can check all of that stuff out, the price, the full spec, all that kind of stuff, by checking out the link down in the description. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe because there's new content all the time. I will see you in the next video. But until then, as always, thanks for watching.